Hi everyone, I'm Jim Dempsey and welcome to our latest episode of Jim and Java. Welcome back everyone to our latest episode. I'm excited to be here with you today on the Development Effectiveness Strategies channel where it is our goal to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Well, let's dive right into our questions, but before we do so, I just want to remind you that if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button and don't be afraid to click the bell to be reminded of when these videos will be released because we release two videos per week. So make sure you don't miss any of these exciting opportunities. If you need to reach me, be sure to go out to developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com and you can always reach me at De devfstrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Well, let's get into our first question. Our first question today is from Tommy in LA and Tommy asks, if I raise my own funding, what are things I can do right now to get monthly commitments? Well, Tommy, that's a great question, and I would say there's a few, including four really helpful tips that you can do if you are raising your own funding or raising your own support. First of all, you want to make sure that you have a strong and positive mindset with this. Make sure that you know what your calling is and what you are doing, that what you are doing is valid and reassure yourself that you can do this. This is something that is doable. It's all about relationships and having the right mindset with people and being positive, being upbeat. Remember, this is something that you get to do, not that you have to do. Getting to raise your own funding really is a privilege and make sure that you look at that because the privilege behind this is really getting to know people and developing relationships with these people. These The individuals that you'll run into have chances are have a heart for your cause. They certainly have a heart for our community, for our world, and want to make a difference in our world. And to connect you with those people who have a heart and a passion for what you're doing is a great privilege. So make sure that you've got a very, very positive mindset. Secondly, you want to count the costs. I have to ask, what happens if I'm fully funded? What is our organization or my efforts in particular, my role responsibility, look like if I'm fully funded? Think about the possibility of that. It is so freeing not to have to worry about, am I going to get paid when the next paycheck is going to come? Am I worried about the stresses that come with finances? If you're married, uh, the burden of finances can be very stressful on a marriage. It's statistics still show that finances are the number one reason why people have marital spats. So it's important that you focus in on this area of finances and getting yourself fully funded. Also, you want to make sure that you utilize all the possible resources. There's some great books, some great videos out there on how to raise your own personal funding. I'd recommend a number of books and I'll put those books down there in the resource library below in the description area. But also take advantage of individuals, coaches, people who do this for a living and those individuals could either be in your organization or outside your organization, but they come alongside and help coach people who are raising their own personal funding. So take advantage of those opportunities. Opportunities. I hope that helped answer your question, Tommy, and I uh, wish you the best as you raise your personal funding. The next question that we have is from Rita in Richmond, and Rita asks, how can I best utilize the critical few principle? 
Well, Rita, thanks for asking about the critical few principle. For those of my viewers who don't know what the critical few principle is, I've mentioned this in a number of my videos, but the critical few principle is the fact that 80% of your money comes from 20% of your people. So knowing that you have only got so much time and effort to invest in raising money, in addition to your responsibilities as a leader of a nonprofit, you want to make sure that you focus in on those relationships, those those individuals that are going to get you the best results. Make sure that you can identify who those 20% are to give 80% of the dollars and focus in on those relationships with people. The best thing you can do is find out who is most with you, who shares your heart and passion. Find out what individuals really can be can fall into the category of life partners. As a reminder, life, labor, influence, finances, and expertise. Which individuals are interested in sharing with you those four key areas to success? Find out, are there areas, are there topics that we can bring them into the fold? Share a little bit about the organization, some of the, the positives and some of the challenges. Allow them to be owners in the organization. Remember, we are seeking transformational relationships, not transactional relationships. Don't focus in on just the opportunities to raise money from the critical few. Also focus on ways that we can incorporate them into the organization, in decisions that we make, in meeting with individuals whose lives are changed as a result of what we do. It's important that you focus in on every possible way of pulling those individuals into the fold so that they feel important, that they feel loved, and they feel appreciated. And that includes making them feel like an insider. In our next episode, we'll talk a little bit about what it means to be an insider, but it's so critical that you make them feel like an insider. Well, I hope, Rita, that answered your question. This ends our next broadcast of Jim and Java. I want to remind you once again to subscribe to this channel. We would appreciate it very much as we're building a community of nonprofit leaders who are interested in taking their organization to the next level. And if you need to, reach out to me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And if you've got questions for the Jim and Java broadcast, please go to at dev F strats on Twitter and use the hashtag Jim and Java. And as I always say, I wish you the best as you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.